Hey guys, welcome back to another video here on the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get Riolu and evolve it into a Lucario in Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. If you guys do find this video useful and you do enjoy it, be sure to leave a like. It really helps out the channel. If you don't like it, it's completely fine as well. And if you want to stick around for more, be sure to subscribe and all that good stuff. So, first things first, where can you find Riolu? Well, the beautiful thing about this game uh, is that any previous Pokemon that you have caught, you can actually go ahead and see uh, in the Pokedex where their location is. So, I'll throw it up on screen. You guys can see exactly where you you could find a Riolu. Uh, so this is going to be kind of the area you're going to be able to find him. Um, and if you just kind of head around there, again, you should see it on your compass or, or your map uh, once you're in that location. Uh, where exactly he is, right? Uh, now, if he doesn't show up, there's other ways to kind of increase the uh, power, uh, the encounter power of a Pokemon. So there's all these different sandwiches, right, that you can go to. Now, there's different shops you can go to uh, that you can buy your own ingredients and then make them during a picnic, uh, which you're going to want to do for something else, which we'll talk about in just a second. But another way that you can do this is actually going to uh, these different stores that you can find in different regions. Now, these different stores uh, are basically going to be called delis. So if you zoom in like really close to the map, uh, you can find delis and different things like that. Uh, and those are going to be the places where if you go to, uh, you're going to be able to actually buy pre-made sandwiches. Now, obviously, different delis and different kind of towns are going to have different kinds of sandwiches. Uh, but basically, what you're going to be looking for is the one that increases the in, uh, encounter power for like fighting type Pokemon. Since Riolu is a fighting type Pokemon, you're going to be looking for that specific specifically uh and then you're going to be able to find riolu a little bit more in the wild there's going to be more that are basically going to pop up because of that sandwich that you ate now again you can always get the ingredients for one and make your own in a picnic and again i'm going to show you guys all the whole picnic thing in a second because we're going to need to use that for something else um but in order to get you know different ingredients and stuff like that when you go into delis you can actually usually see a guy kind of hanging off to the right uh he's, he's usually just sitting there uh like to to, to the side of the counter and if you go talk to him he'll usually give you some more recipes and things like that uh so if you can find one at uh, one of those guys at you know any of the delis uh you should be good to go to learn your own recipes you get kind of your own base recipes uh but that greatly expands uh, how many recipes you have so uh go ahead and do that and then we'll be uh ready to go once we've caught riolu to uh start evolving it into a lucario all right, so once you've caught a Lucario, what you're going to want to do is make a picnic. So you're going to go to any kind of area uh, in the outskirts. I don't know why I'm in the desert right now. It's just where I happen, so I happen to be. You're going to push X and you're going to go down to picnic. Now, this is very important because the way to evolve uh, Riolu into a Lucario is by maximizing its friendship. It has to have five hearts. And you can see that at the time of recording this, I'm actually recording this portion post game uh, or post of evolution, but I've already gotten Lucario. But if I go up to my, my Pokemon and I push A, I can see exactly how many hearts he has above his head. So he has five. Now, right before he evolved, he had four. So I had to keep kind of, you know, working on, uh, you know, raising his friendship level. And the way you do that is setting up picnics, for example, having them in your party when you're, when you're doing different things like battling and stuff like that. Uh, especially battling with them as, as long as they don't faint. But if you're in a picnic, a couple things you're going to want to do is make a sandwich. So if you make a sandwich, that's going to increase their friendship level. Feeding them is going to is going to do that. And again, you can see when you're making sandwiches that you can also increase the encounter power uh, for different ones. For, so for example, this first sandwich will increase the encounter power for ground. But again, like I was saying earlier, you want to look for one that increases the encounter power uh, for you know fighting type, right? Anyway, so making sandwiches is also going to raise the friendship level. Another thing is if you push ZR, you can actually play ball with your Pokemon. You can throw out a ball and play ball with them. So that's going to increase their friendship level as well. And then if you go up to uh, Pokemon, for example, uh, you can go ahead and press X and uh, you can actually give them a bath. And if you give them a bath, that's also going to raise their friendship level. So once you give them the, the bath, uh, you're going to see that they're happy. Uh, and so that's going to increase it as well. Now, I don't know if you can just sit in the picnic forever and ever and ever and it just raises. I don't think so. Uh, once you've done all this for a little bit, you know, played ball for a bit, you've watched your Pokemon, you've, uh, you know, made a sandwich. I would just go ahead and exit the picnic and then, you know, redo it again. Uh, travel around for a bit, battle a little bit if you want. And just keep doing that until you raise 
increase the friendship level. It, it might take a little bit because obviously it's going to start at, you know, pretty much no hearts uh, and you got to get it all the way to max, which is going to be five hearts. But once you do that, uh, it'll automatically evolve once you level up your uh, Riolu. So once it has five hearts, uh, again, you may not notice that it, it's increased to that point if you, you know, haven't went up to your Pokemon in the picnic and pushed A. Um, but it, when, it, when it does have the five hearts above its head, uh, full friendship level, and it uh, levels up once, it will evolve into a Lucario. So it's really that simple. I hope that helped you guys out to get your Riolu and your Lucario. I, one last thing before we close out this video is that it is worth noting you technically could catch a, a Lucario. I'm going to show you guys exactly where it's located on the map. But you can see that it says it's very rarely seen. Your, your probably best bet is just to catch a Riolu um, and, and then evolve it into a Lucario. But you could try this method as well. You can see it's kind of like in the top right. whole The whole top right section of the map is typically where you can find a Lucario in the wild. But again, it's very rarely seen. It can be a little bit tricky to get it that way. But... I mean, you know, if you do, great, but either way, I mean, if you want, you know, your full Pokedex, then you're going to need a Riolu either way, so I don't know. Uh, it is what it is, but let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Let me know if you, uh, if you have any questions or anything like that. I hope this uh, video helped you guys out, and uh, I'll see you guys soon in another one. Tell them, my friends, game on, and thanks for watching.